challenge be ice, snow, or other inclement weather, your county forces are preparing as we speak. The equipment and people will be ready to keep your roadways clear. Let's take a look at what's going on in the Bureau of Highways to get Anne Arundel County ready for snow. Each year we uh, prepare our snow fleet by uh, making sure all of our trucks are not only uh, uh, operationally ready in terms of state required inspections, uh, but also uh, ready for the snow season with the plows and, and salt spinners and the special equipment we use to uh, fight storms. And it starts with making sure the fleet is ready. And that's one thing that will account It's really part of our culture, uh, ensuring that the trucks we have are in the best possible shape as we go into each winter. And it, and it pays off not only for the winter season, but for uh, our year-round operations where we require these dump trucks to move stone and asphalt and all types of construction materials. County forces are ready to mobilize at a moment's notice to respond to weather events. These forces include contractors and county employees. The fleet consists of 222 trucks, including dump trucks and pickup trucks, with plows. It also includes 358 people, whether they be supervisors, drivers, contractors, or customer service representatives who deal with the public. At the county's annual snow expo, workers are able to compare notes, to get together just before the season begins, to show off their new equipment, and of course, to get a refresher course on the do's and don'ts of snow removal. Those of us that have been around a while, we need not forget 1996. For those of us that have been here even longer, we don't want to forget 1979. And in those particular events, that is when it challenges your plan. So what we decided after 96, you plan for the worst. You want to make sure that you've got a plan that you're able to go to when, in fact, you get 26 inches of snow at one time. Communicate, you know, because, um, you know, you guys are going to be in it for 12 hours apiece. That's 24 hours, so, um, you know. When you have an A shift and a B shift, you know, two guys are going to be assigned to one truck, and that truck is going to be, uh, it's going to be home for 12 hours. You're going to be sleeping in it, you're going to be eating in it, you know, if you have to sit and wait. So it's just common courtesy, think of your partner. And um, like John was saying, every time you stop, just check your truck out. It only takes a second. Make sure the lights are clean so you can see. Mirrors aren't iced up, you know, and it's just, it's, it's a lot of it's common sense, just looking and um, just making sure everything is okay. So what's new this year in county snow operations? Uh, we have new fuels right now. We're using the low sulfur diesel. And what it does is uh, it has better emissions, but at the same time, it, uh, it's, it has a tendency to freeze up the lines. However, we're adding some new additives to it and watching our, our fuel lines and it's, overall it's going to be good for the environment and good for the operations. As far as technology is concerned, we have a new AVL GPS system, which is the automatic vehicle locator system and a global positioning system that we're installing in about 94 trucks. And for our contractors, we're issuing handheld GPS units so we know where they're going and where they've been. So that's going to, to help us uh, track our operations this winter. So what can I do as a citizen to help these operations go a little more smoothly? Well, first of all, we have a priority system, and so we hit the main roads first. So folks uh, are, should be patient enough to, to stay at home uh, for their safety sake, and we will get to your local roads as quickly as we can. The other one, the other tip I could provide is to keep out of our trucks' ways for, for them to work a lot more efficiently and so we don't get into any, any kind of collision out there. So safety is very important for us, and uh, we try to ad address all the needs of, of, the, of the citizens as quickly as we can. What about salt? Do we have enough? Uh, we, we have several uh, stockpiles of salt, and we have about 11,000 tons of salt. Uh, by, by comparison, Prince George's County has about 30,000 tons. 
but that doesn't mean anything to us because we try to use salt sparingly. Uh, we're very conscious about not uh, overwhelming our tributaries and streams of salt to change the, the chemical makeup of the bay. So we only use salt as, as, um, as needed on, on the important locations such as bridges, hills, uh, intersections, and where it's needed.